Zero. Research Explorer in time and space. Somewhere in a remote, uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Tetro. Yes, Captain? Are you sure these are the exact readings of all instruments when the materialization chamber shorted out? Absolutely, Captain. I took them myself. Have you located Jet? No. But according to my calculations, the short circuit in the materialization chamber caused him to materialize back into the latter part of the 15th century in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, no. Stand by to activate the time machine. Yes, sir. Electro generators, 8.713. Klystron output, 4.692. Set the trilotron at 20.991. Right. All set, sir. Stand by for signal. Steady, we're going back. Okay, General, level the power and hold it. Yes, sir. Stand by. Well, I'm afraid you'll never find him, Captain. Unless he's been picked up by a passing ship. Ships didn't sail this far out into the Atlantic in the 15th century, Tetro. But Jet's trillium suit should keep him afloat until we can locate him. Get that materialization chamber operating and stand by. Yes, sir. Any sign of him, Captain? No, not yet. Are you sure you have the right location? Absolutely. He must be in this area somewhere. Wait a minute. There is a ship out there. Somebody must be blown way off course. Stand by, Tetro. I'm going to refocus. Jet might be on board. Now they can't come in. Tetro, set the language rectifier to Spanish. Yes, sir. If I get my hands on the one who stole my bittles, I'll slit his throat from ear to ear. Tetro, Jet is on that ship. Good. What ship is it? I don't know. We get the materialization chamber operating as soon as you can. I'll try to contact Jet on his portable receiver and let him know what's happened. Right. Strange. First, Rico loses his cloak. Then, Carlos cannot find his hat. And next, someone steals my dinner. But I will find this fellow. And when I do... Captain, you 
found me. Where am I? What happened? Over. Well, the materialization chamber shorted out. You landed back in the 15th century. I now have you on the time machine view screen, and we'll materialize you back here as soon as the chamber is repaired. Got that? I've got it, Captain. Over. Your batteries won't last long at this time span, so I won't contact you except in case of emergency. Stay hidden and don't get caught by that character at the rail. We'll get you back here as soon as possible. Zero. Over and out. Yes, sir. Jet, out. Alfredo. Uh, Rico. You have found something. I, this glove, it is like none I've ever seen before. No. Where did you find it? In the forecastle, near our quarters. There is something strange going on here, Rico. And I intend to find out what it is. go wrong. At daybreak, we take over the ship. I then back to Spain. Aye. I think you are going at this time of night. Oh, I, I, yes? I, I was taking a walk around the deck. Oh? Yeah, I, I couldn't sleep. I could easily arrange for you to sleep most soundly. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure I can sleep all right now. See you later. Come back here. Hey, sir. How is it I have never seen you on this ship before? Where have you been hiding and why? I just came on board a little while ago. Oh, just came on board, eh? How can you come on board a ship in the middle of the ocean? You're lying. No, I, I came from another ship. Oh, another ship. We have not seen another ship since... Oh, you mean you swam over from the Nino or the Pinta? Yeah, yeah, the, the Pinta. Ah. Now I understand, amigo. You have made a good choice. What do you mean? We have been sailing for over a month westward into this unknown ocean. This foreign admiral, he is mad. 
He would have us sail to the edge of the earth and fall off into space. But, but, but that... Do not be afraid, boy. If we do not sight land by tomorrow at daybreak, the crew of this ship will mutiny. We will get rid of this Senor Columbus and sail back to Spain. Senor Columbus? Aye, but do not be afraid, lad. We will take care of him. Santa Maria. Ahoy, Nina! Captain, did you hear that? No, I'm on Columbus's ship, and the crew is going to mutiny. Stand by, Jet. The materialization chamber will be repaired soon. Over. But shouldn't I warn Columbus? Over. Yes. You're right, but be careful. I'll be watching. Zero. All right, out. Yes, sir. Jet, out. Boy? Aye, sir? You would not try to sneak away from me, would you? Oh, no, I... Good. I just... We will work together, you and I. What do you mean? I have reason to believe there is another foreigner on this ship. What makes you think that? This glove. Strange, is it not? Uh, yeah, but, but... The hand that fits his glove can only belong to a spy. We must find him before he can interfere with our plans to get rid of Columbus. Yeah, but where is Columbus right now? He's at the helm. Why do you ask? Well, I thought I could talk to him and, and see if he suspects anything. Aye, that's a good idea. He would not be suspicious of a deck boy. Oh, I'll see it. Wait. First, you will try on the glove yourself, just to make sure it does not fit. But... Try it on. Petro, the materialization chamber. Sorry, Captain. You can materialize and dematerialize back in time. But you can't bring anything into the lab. Okay, stand by. You are the spy. Captain! Help! 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 Thanks, Captain. she goes. Steady as she goes. Rico, look. Birds. Land must be close ahead. Aye, Admiral Columbus, for over a week, you have been saying the same thing. If there was only water, turn back. We are sailing to our doom in this sea of darkness. No, Rico. There is land to the west, and we will find it. Aye, unless we plunge off the edge of the world first. No, Rico, the world is round, round. Can you not understand? Look, in the water, a branch of a tree with berries on it. Aye, we have seen branches of trees before. If no land comes to sight, it will, Rico, it will. These are sure signs of land. No, these are signs of destruction, leading us closer and closer to the edge of the world. And if you do not turn back, we will fall off, down, down into empty space. Bear with me, Rico. It will not be long. No, it will not be long for you. Captain. Rico, step back I... to your post. I'm going to my cabin, Rico, and I advise you to stay on course, or you'll find yourself in irons. Understand? I. I, Admiral. I only hope that the monsters of this 
unknown sea. Enjoy the taste of your foreign Italian blood. Rico! There is a spy on board. A deck boy, but a most strong one. What difference does it make? At dawn, we get rid of them both. This mad explorer from Genoa will soon wish he had stayed home. The fool! Everyone knows the world is flat, yet he would have us think it is round. And the people underneath would be walking upside down. And the rain and the snow would be falling upward. Aye, upward. Aye. He is mad. Land to the west, ha! There is nothing but water as far as the eye can see. Aye. And every minute we are sailing closer and closer to the edge. Yet Columbus will not turn back. Aye. But at dawn, we turn back. And without him. Aye. Aye. Carlos, take the tiller. Aye. Pedro, run up our followers and tell them of the plan. Aye. This deck boy knows of the mutiny. We must find him before he can warn Columbus. Aye, we will find him if we have to move every stick on the ship. There he is! Captain! No fool! He is gone! I. But how can he move so fast? I do not know. But we must find him quickly. Dawn will be breaking soon. Get some help and search the ship. I will watch for him at Columbus' cabin. I. sign of land. Could my calculations be wrong? Enter. Admiral Columbus, I? I've got to talk to you. Well, what is it, lad? Well, I, I mean... I know how it is with you deck boys. You have been listening to the crew. Well, yes, And they tell tales of monsters rising up out of the sea and swallowing ships from stem to stern and of falling off the edge of the world into empty space. Well, yes, they do, but... Believe me, boy, the world is round. I have seen proof. And no one has ever seen these monsters they speak of. Well, I, I know, but... Listen to me, lad. Do you still think we should give Senor Columbus the choice to turn back? No. no. He talked us out of one mutiny before. We do not let him talk us out of another. Good. Now, you know the plan. Rouse the others, and at the first sign of daybreak, we will dispose of Senor Columbus and all who side with him. What about the deck boy? He will not show his face again. And if he does, <laughs> now, do your post. Ah. Even you must have seen a ship on the distant horizon. As it sails closer, first the topsails come into view, then the cabin, and presently the whole ship. This could not be unless the world were round. You don't have to convince me, Admiral Columbus. I know you're right, but your crew doesn't. And unless... I know. Unless land is sighted before daybreak, they will mutiny and return to Spain. But can't you throw them in iron? No. The men can bear no more. I will not oppose them. If land is not sighted soon, I fear my dream of new worlds will be over.
Admiral Columbus, how do you know there are new worlds to be discovered? I used to be a maker of maps, and I have in my possession many charts and logs brought to me by sailors who were blown far out to sea. They too spoke of strange lands far into the setting sun, and high seas blown by western wind have brought to the shores of Spain timbers of unknown wood carved without iron. From whence did they come? What people carved them? There are new lands to be discovered, lad. Perhaps continents. But I fear I shall not live to discover them. You'll discover them all right. Thank you. But I fear the worst. Poor little Diego and Ferdinand. And I had such dreams for them. Diego and Ferdinand? Who are they? My two sons, back in Spain. But aren't you even going to try to stop the mutiny? I will do my best when the time comes. At least my charts and notes are completed so that others may return. The dawn will break at any moment. You remain here. I prefer to be on deck. Yes, sir, but... He has started. What are we going to do? Mind of always. Forgive us, Admiral. Forgive our lack of faith. I, Alfredo. Who can hold malice when together we have crossed the sea of darkness? Captain! What about me? Captain! The materialization chamber is repaired. Good. Stand by, Jet. I'm bringing you back. Spectre wave condensers are opening. Turboid activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. It's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to materialize. Coming in. Zen. Jet. I was getting seasick up there. Sit down. She'll be all right in a few minutes. Yeah, I guess so, but boy, I bet Columbus was really honored when he got back to Spain, huh? For a while, but not for long. Well, what do you mean? Well, even though Columbus served Spain for the rest of his life, he died a broken man, without honor and without reward, a victim of slander and injustice. And though he sailed the seas until his eyes grew dim, he never knew that he touched the shores of a vast new continent, America. Be sure to be standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.